Hi, I'm Oystein and welcome to this Friday book review. If you like these book reviews, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would make me happier and that is a goal for this channel. Today we're going to review this book. Escaping the Build Trap by Melissa Perry. How effective product management creates real value. This is a book about product management and for those who are not familiar with the term product management, I will read a definition I found on the internet. Product management is the role and function within an organization that is responsible for product's overall success. Product managers work with groups inside and outside of the company to build and execute a plan to make sure the product best meets its financial and strategic goals. So the reason I chose to read this book is because I work at a company that has these roles in it and I was curious to see what these roles actually are and what the people in the roles actually do. And as always, I've used Goodreads to see what score it has and to read some reviews to see if this is the right book for me at this moment. There are a lot of books on this topic and this one is one of the most recommended. This is a topic I don't know a lot about, so it was important to me that it was a simple read and easy to understand the concepts of the book. Let's do a little summary of the book. The book is called The Bill Trap and in the book it's described as The Bill Trap is when organizations become stuck measuring their success by outputs rather than outcomes. It's when they focus more on shipping and developing features rather than on the actual value those things produce. So that's in short terms uh, why the book has its name. Basically in the book you follow a company that is made up and is based on the author's uh, previous experiences. It's very good to have a company that you follow throughout the book because it makes it more like reading a fiction book. But you also learn a lot when the company goes through the different phases of product management. And it's also more engaging when you have a made up company you follow because you feel more connection with the company when you read about it. I feel. So this company goes through a lot of processes from uh, successful and unsuccessful product launches to dealing with the uh, strategies and the book talks in both small and big terms uh, and the author spends a lot of time talking about how common it is for a product management department to be focusing on the next thing that they're going to launch regardless of the thing they're launching are the right thing to launch or not. And this is often tied to bonuses by employees or the thought that if people don't release a product they have failed but it's more important to think about if this is the right thing to develop or not and this is a huge focus for the book and maybe the one thing i remember the most of course in this book the author also looks at engaging the people that actually are going to use your product and verifying if this is the right thing to build well, another key takeaway from the book is that you always should report both your victories and your failures. If you do not, management could always get the wrong impression of how you actually are doing at the department and that will not end in a good way. In the book it also says a lot about how you can uh, find out what's wrong with the product. This could be market analysis or user studies or it you can make uh, different models of your products, etc, etc. And spends a lot of time saying that the job is often finding out what doesn't work rather than looking at what does work. The book also discusses the importance of the role as product manager and how popular the product management title has become and what kind of people should be in product management and in the positions around product management. Also discusses a lot of archetypes in the workplace around product management, which was very interesting to read. I thought I should uh, share two of my favorite quotes from the book. Products, as I said before, are vehicles of value. They deliver value repeatedly to the customer and the users, without requiring the company to build something new every time. And this just underlines the importance of not always thinking about that you have to deliver a new product to the customers and feeling that you're not doing any work if you're not doing it. But 
rather seeing what could be done with the product that's already in the market, for example. My second, my second, my second favorite quote is uh, something that I've seen uh, before, but I still enjoy, and that's a simple one. Data beats opinion every time. And of course, I think it's a, it's a kind of funny saying, but it's also very true. Not because data can't lie, because it really, really can. Data often lies, but so do people. So my thoughts on the book. I really enjoyed it. It was a very easy read. I liked the concept with the made up company. You could follow through the journey. You could read about how products had failed earlier and then succeeded with new methods. And I got a lot of uh, new interesting thoughts from the book, which I hadn't had before. And of course, if you're a product manager at this point, I think you would get a lot of, out of it. When I read the, the reviews on Goodreads, people were very positive and many of the people that had written reviews were actually in product management, of course. And I found it relatable, even though I do not work in product management at this moment. I think many people would enjoy this book, especially if you're in a company that produces a product. If you have read this book, I would love it if you wrote what you thought about it down below. I will comment if you do. If you have any recommendations in this genre or any other books for that matter, please comment below and thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.